What's going on everyone? It is Friday, which means it's time for another Razor Chroma profile tutorial and download. For today's Razor Chroma profile, I decided to make a design that was actually brought up during my live stream on Wednesday, which is a YouTube theme Razor Chroma profile. I thought it was a great idea because in the past I've done a Twitch Razor Chroma profile as well. And I've also been on the YouTube platform for a few years now. So I figured it's about time. So for this design, we're going to be putting the YouTube logo on our keyboard. We're also gonna add a little bit of flair around the outside of that logo, and we're gonna finish the thing off with a really nice looking audio meter. Don't forget in the description below, there will be a link to my website where you can go to download this profile for your Razor Chroma devices. And with that said, we'll get right into the tutorial. This is YouTube. All right, to create this design, what we're gonna do is we're going to be working in the Razor Synapse Studio. And we're just gonna click on these three dots at the top and we're gonna click the Add button. This is going to create a brand new Razor Chroma profile for you to start editing. And I'm just gonna hold Control and scroll wheel in here on the keyboard and we're just gonna focus on the keyboard for right now. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to click these three dots on the effect layer list. Under Spectrum Cycling, I'm going to click these three dots and I'm going to change this effect to a static effect. And then I'm just going to double click any of the keys and I'm going to hit the delete key and that's just going to erase the effect off of all of our devices. Next, I'm going to hold control and I'm just going to select out the shape of our YouTube button on our keyboard. So I'm going to select these keys right here and I'm just going to set all of these keys to a red color. Now I'm going to click on the T lighting zone and I'm gonna hold control once again, and I'm just gonna select out the shape of our play button. So I use these seven lighting zones right here to make my play button. Now I'm just gonna add a white color to those lighting zones. That's all we're gonna do for this effect layer. On the bottom left of our window, we're gonna click the wave effect to add a brand new wave effect layer to the top of our list. We're gonna hold control, and we're gonna select all of the lighting zones that we use to make our YouTube logo on our keyboard. And while continuing to hold control, I'm then gonna select our whole entire keyboard. What that does is it deselects our YouTube logo on the middle and it selects everything else that's available on our keyboard. Now we can click on our color dropdown and we're gonna choose this three node pattern right here in the middle. The far right node over here, we're going to make transparent and we're gonna drag that over to the middle node. This middle node right here that's green, we're gonna change that to red. Click that plus sign to add a brand new node in here. We're gonna drag this brand new node all the way over to the red one. And this node that we just added, we're gonna make white. This first node over here, we're gonna make transparent. Now we're just gonna select this dark gray area down here to drop that window. And we're gonna change our angle on this wave pattern to go at a 45 degree angle. We're also gonna change the speed down to eight. With that done, I'm gonna hold control and I'm just going to start deselecting my keys that are on the upper left portion of the keyboard. So here you can see I've deselected the upper left corner of our lighting zones. And with this lower right half selected, I'm going to click on my angle and I'm going to change my angle to 235 degrees so that they're going opposite directions. All we have left to do for this design is to create an audio meter, which we're going to do inside the play button here. So we're gonna click the audio meter effect layer to add a brand new audio meter layer to the top. And I'm going to select all of our keys that have the red lighting zones on them, just like this. Before we go changing colors on this audio meter, I'm going to boost it to 1.5, which is what looks good on my setup. You may have to change these property values based on how your audio is set up on your PC. Every PC is going to be different for these property values, but this is what works best for mine. Once I have these set to where I need them, I'm going to click on my color gradient and I'm going to change this to a two node pattern right here. This first node over here on the left, I'm just going to move it right about here. And I'm going to drag this second node over here right up next to it. This right node, I'm going to make red. This left node, I'm also going to make red. 
but I'm going to make this darker red. The left node, we're going to drag it dark, okay? So you're still going to have some red light on these keys, even when the audio is low. But as audio increases, it's going to turn a brighter red. And we're going to hold Control, and we're going to deselect the bottom row here of our selected lighting zones. Click on our color gradient, and we're going to drag this over to the right a little bit. Hold control, deselect the next row down, click on our color gradient, drag the nodes over. Hold control, deselect the next row up, click on our color gradient, and we're dragging. Hold control, deselect the next row, and with this final row, we're just going to drag them over one last time. Just like this, we're gonna click off of that and we're gonna hit save. That's all it takes to create this design. I'm going to play a little bit of music to show you guys what the audio meter looks like and then we'll transition right into the showcase and show you what it actually looks like on my desktop. Thank you guys so much for watching the video if you guys do enjoy this content please let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any ideas for any kind of razor chroma profile that you guys would like to see definitely leave your ideas in the comment section below i always get most of my content based off of your guys's input so don't be shy that's going to do it for this video thanks again for watching and i will see you guys hopefully in the next video thanks